Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Red Times UK. We're back at Europa Park for Voltron opening day. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, we have seen online that there is luggage like hold, so we're going to have to find that first. So I can put my suitcase in and my backpack. And then we can go. I can't wait. It's not overly busy. It's normal. They shut off over there until the park opens and then you go through. And then it's just through that gate. You've got the observation tower for ride access. And then, yeah. And just over there is the best ride on park. <laughs> That tower, the ride access, look for that, you'll find the ride access. Okay, Voltron, here we come. Coming through that then was actually the most smooth transition. There was no stampeding like at two tactics. People were calm and yeah, it's nice, easy. And to get a ride access was literally like a two minute wait. That's it. So, here we go. So we've got down to like the bridge area going into Croatia and it looks like the area is not ready just yet. So we're all being held sort of waiting at the minute so you know it's what's gonna happen. Rider virtual queue is ride access. Let's go.
So I've just come off with my first ever go on Voltron on the Vera. Oh my god, nothing compares. Like, 100% doesn't compare. It's um, become my new number one. 100% new number one. Um, oh, I'm lost for words. The air time, the, ang the hang time, the bounce track, oh, everything. Like, I'm not even... Oh, it's incredible. It's a, there's no words, like... Um, the only thing that I will say, they have experienced delays today, which is understandable. Um, and we had a little bit of a confusion trying to find ride access. One person sort of said it was one way, and then another person said it was another. And then finally we sort of spoke to the fourth person and they were like, no, it's the virtual queue. So you go to the main entrance and then it's single rider and um, virtual, and that's where you go. So. And once you're in, it's about 18 seconds between trains. It's absolutely incredible. Um, the way that they get the trains out is like a conveyor belt. So as one row comes in, the restraints on that row is up. Next four are on. And it does it like that. It rotates. Oh, my God. Uh, the theming in the station, second to none. It's the small details. The small details. Oh, I missed it. Small details. Oh, Europa Park. You've done incredible. We just need something like this in the UK now. I know that won't happen, but there it is what it is. We've yeah. got the Voltron books, t shirts. And then they've got some Croatian themed merch. Backpacks! They are 35 euros. sort of snaking from around the corrosion entrance all the way around the dome and then round and then through round there and then back into the the station it's crazy absolutely crazy I know you how weird and then of course you just have your drinks as well We're gonna go have a little look in the Croatian exhibit. Ooh, oh, I can't read any of this, obviously. But, oh, you mentioned. Oh, it's interactive. the best part. Put your hand on the balls. I always wanted one of them. The um, only downside to a ride access in a virtual queue is you don't really get to see the front of Nikola Tesla until you're heading up towards the station. So I will give you a front row, a front face of view of that in a minute. But it's incredible.
So the whole ride's been shut down, all the systems are gone, so we may end up with an evac, doesn't it, for an interesting POV? just done Voltron for the second time this time it was an experience it's been having issues all day it's been up and down all day but we got to we done the second launch got to the coil bit for you know like the turntable bit before we were about to launch but the next train came in and didn't well train before us didn't launch so we had to wait for them to work that out so we sat there for about 10 minutes but it's still a great ride like it's definitely for the two that i've done even though the first one was only like the full one it's taken number one and it's not even if you take like the ride experience away with the station and the theming and the fact that the station interacts like everything interacts with that train launch absolutely incredible absolutely incredible so with that being said i am going to end the vlog here because we now have to head home. I'm so sad, but it is what it is. So, if you like the content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.